Final Accounts of Banking Company In this presentation, you will learn what is a bill of exchange, what is the meaning of discounting of a bill of exchange and what is the meaning of rebate on bills discounted. Rebate on bills discounted is a very important concept in final accounts of a banking company. Let us recapitulate the concept of a bill of exchange. Let us take an example. Anand and Badal enter into a transaction in which Anand sells his car to Badal. Naturally, Badal is supposed to make the payment for this car that he has purchased. But if Badal doesn't have money to pay, then he gives it in writing to Anand that he will pay after say 3 months. This acknowledgement of indebtedness given by the purchaser to the seller in writing is called a bill of exchange. Now Anand will hold this bill for a period of 3 months and after 3 months are over, Anand will present this bill to Badal and Badal will finally make the payment. So after having learned the concept of bill of exchange, now let us be clear about the another concept discounting of bill of exchange. Let us continue with the earlier example. In the earlier example we saw that Anand got money from Mr. Badal only after the third month was over. But what will Anand do if he needs money during those three months and he is not ready to wait till the date of the maturity of the bill? Yes, he can endorse the bill. But what if Anand needs loose cash for his business purposes? What will he do? He will go to the bank and sell the bill to the bank. If the face value of the bill is rupees 100, bank will purchase it for say 98 rupees and bank will give 98 rupees to Mr. Anand. So a bill of rupees 100 was purchased for 98 that is bank has purchased this bill at a discount of rupee 2. So discounting of bill of exchange means selling the bill of exchange to the bank at a discount. Now the question is what will the bank do with this bill? After 3 months are over, bank will give 3 more days to Mr. Badal to make a payment. These 3 more days that are given to Mr. Badal for making payment in addition to those 3 months of bill is called 3 days of grace. So bank will present the bill to Mr. Badal after 3 months and 3 days. And Mr. Badal will pay rupees 100 to the bank. In this transaction, the bank has earned a profit of rupees 2. Now let us understand the concept of rebate on bills discounted. Let us understand this concept with the help of a simple example. Suppose the date of year ending of the bank is 31st of March 2007. So the bank will prepare balance sheet and profit and loss account for a period up to 31st of March 2007. The items of income and expenditure or the items of assets and liabilities that are falling after 31st of March 2007 are not included in the balance sheet for 31st March 2007. Now let us take a practical example. Suppose the date of the bill is 1st February. This bill will become matured after 4 months. The amount of the bill is 3000 and the rate of discount that the bank has charged is 12% per annum. Let us first calculate the date of maturity of the bill. Let us count 4 months from 1st of February. 1st February to 1st March, 1 month. 1st April, 2. 1st May, 3. 1st June, 4. Plus 3 days of grace. That is the date of maturity of the bill will be 4th of June. Out of this period, 2 months are falling prior to the date of year ending and 2 months are falling after the date of year ending of the bank. The discount received by the bank on discounting of bills is an income of the bank. Out of these 4 months, 2 months discount can be treated as the income of the bank because the year ending 
is on 31st of March. Therefore, from February to March one month and from March to March end two months. This can be treated as income of the bank and can be shown in the profit and loss account of the bank. Let us calculate the period for which discount amount cannot be treated as income of the bank. And this period is March end to April end one month, April end to May end two months and from May end to June 4th because the date of majority of the bill is 4th of June that is four days. So total number of days falling after 31st of March are 65 days. So the amount of discount for 65 days cannot be treated as the income of the bank. Now let us calculate the amount of interest. Value of the bill 3000 multiplied by 12% will give us interest for 12 months. Then divided by 365 because we have to find out the interest only for 65 days. So by dividing it by 365 we will get interest for each day and multiplied by 65 will give us interest for 65 days. That amount comes to 64.11 rupees. So rupees 64.11 will not be treated as the income of the bank for the current year.